Welcome to the studio, it's Froyle here. I'm so glad you've joined me. Today we're working on some fabulous mixed media techniques. You're gonna love this. I absolutely love the theme of feathers and birds. The concept of freedom has permeated my paintings for a really long time. I've created quite a few paintings with birds in flight, which to me represents freedom. And it's not a freedom of riotous living and doing what you want. It's a freedom of knowledge of self, of having an understanding of your own self-worth so that you're not restricted or confined by other people's expectations. Freedom is to really know who you are and to have the strength and the passion to really be who you want to be. That's the concept of freedom for me in my creativity. And it's the passion of my videos and this channel is that I would encourage you to be free in who you are and express that through your creative adventures. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I may be on a tangent all about it this week because we're in week four of 100 days of collage and I'm absolutely so excited about this theme. Now, I'm feeling like I really wanna get a little extravagant today. I mean, let's kick it off with a bang, don't you think? I've got some papers that I've just printed with a fabulous stamp from Joggles, and those papers are now drying. So I'm going to start with my collage on this side, and yes, it's going to be dramatic. I'm going to use some of these beautiful rich golds. I just haven't decided on which ones because I do have quite a few. I'm going to mix it with some dark earthy tones and probably some of this beautiful deep red. Now, what am I going to use as a focal point? Well, that's the question because I have so many options. But before we get in too deep, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes and members in hundreds of countries. Anything that you need to increase your skills, maybe in business, maybe personal development, perhaps you want to learn how to make incredible artworks, <laughs> you can find classes on Skillshare. I'm both a teacher and a student on Skillshare. Having just taken the step Leaving my old job behind and becoming a full-time artist, I depend even more on upscaling my knowledge with online learning. And I have found that Skillshare can help when it comes to areas that I need to increase my art business, especially in areas of marketing and tech. I've taken class on how to develop your YouTube channel, how to take better photos with your iPhone. <laughs> Skillshare is helping me to learn what I need to know to increase my art business. And there's really a lot to learn. <laughs> Skillshare is easy to use. And what I love about this platform is the one inclusive membership price. I have 11 classes on Skillshare and you can watch one of them, five of them, all of them for the same price of one subscription fee. It's absolute value for money. That's what I love about it. Now, the first 1,000 people to click on the link will receive the first month free. And baby, you can't get more affordable than free. <laughs> so click on the link in the description and come and join me on Skillshare because there is so much more to experience. Right, so where are we going to start? I'm thinking we just start by gluing some papers on and then we'll make the decisions as we move along. Right, now that's a great start. I decided on the two main pieces for the background and we're away. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not easy to decide, especially if you have way too many beautiful papers. That can actually be a hindrance to your creativity because you're like, oh man, it could be this or I could use that or, yeah, I know, I know. Some days are just like that. Well, we've decided on these two beautiful pieces for the background, what's going to go on next. Now, I want to make a focal point with a piece of this one. This is my plan. So I'm going to trim this down. 
I also have some of this beautiful paper and yes, that definitely has to go on. So I think I'll just tear a piece of this and put it between those two background sections. You know, something like that. Does it have to be straight? I don't think so. I actually like it not being straight because it's just a little bit more interesting. All right, I'm definitely going to put that on before I change my mind and find something else to distract me. That is just beautiful. And I do like the way it's not entirely straight. I'll trim that off once it dries. Yay. I do Well, that was the next hard decision made. <laughs> Let's push on. So what size do I want my focal point to be? Something like that. in the middle there. Now I'm thinking we're going to put it by itself, suspended in the middle at the top. And my idea was to put some actual feathers onto this piece as the focal point. So we'll see how that idea goes. <laughs> You know, they're only ideas, but sometimes uh, in the creation of the ideas, if they don't work as great as you initially had in mind. So you do have to allow yourself to stop and to change and to try different ideas if your first initial ones don't work. Now, I got these beautiful feathers from mm, a craft shop. I can't remember which one. It was too long ago. And the colors are really working for me today. So I'm thinking of putting some beautiful feathers on this focal point just here. Somehow, I haven't actually, <laughs> I haven't actually worked out how they're going to go on. I just like the idea of it. <laughs> what about something like that? A bit of PVA will hold that beautifully and I can, Always put some washi tape at the top if I want to secure them in a neater fashion. Yeah, I'm liking that. What do you think? I'm liking that. I think we just need something for here. Do we want bronze circles or black? Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go and find some. So I'm going to use a little PVA glue to stick these beautiful feathers down. Now it might take a little bit of fiddle. I'm not exactly sure how I want them positioned. So you do have to have a little play with your ideas to see what's really going to work. I think they're beautiful. The color really matches well. And it's going to just be a matter of putting the cluster together and seeing how many I want, how many it needs, and how many are gonna look good. I've put a line of PVA glue there, but I probably need to go a little bit further down, I'm thinking, maybe like that. And how far over do I wanna put the feathers? I know, so many questions to ask. <laughs> Let's try this idea. And then we can always add a few more dots of glue if needed. Oh man, that's working. What are you worried for? <laughs> what are you worried for? It's working fine. I don't. That's going to be okay. That one needs a little bit more glue underneath it. So we'll poke some more under there. Push it down and hope for the best. Righto, I'll let that dry and see if I'm happy with that. I want to put some circles down here. I think it'll finish it off beautiful, especially in bronze. But I couldn't find any in my hoard that I was happy with. So I'm going to have to put them on with the beautiful iridescent gold fine in golden paints. Yay! <laughs> They are just beautiful. Oh, the resurgence of my bling rings. 
Pretty sure I was doing this last year with our 100 days of collage. They just look glorious, especially in the beautiful bronze fine. And I think that's going to just finish the page off fabulous. Now, I'll let it dry. And then by then, the prints that I did for this side will be dry enough to use on the page. Ah, oh, beautiful, finishes it off, just glorious. Right now, this is drying up really nice. I'm loving the colors, I'm loving the textures. Ah, oh, makes me happy. <laughs> now that PVA glue will dry clear once it's completely dry. It's not completely dry yet. And I'll think about maybe putting a piece of washi tape over it or just leave it like that. Haven't decided yet, but now we're going to do this side because my prints have now dried. Now, I was playing around with this stamp here, which is a Joggles stamp. I'll put a link in the description under the video uh, if you want to have a look where to get that. Don't be fooled. The packaging said foliage, but for me today, it's a feather because it looks like a feather. So I did this piece first. I put the foam stamp on with this archival ink and it was fun and easy. And then I had the brilliant idea to play around with the distress sprays. So I put them into a watercolor palette and put them on the paper like they were watercolor. And the paper handled it really well because it's the Japanese washi paper. Um, so I'm figuring that it coped rather well considering I drowned it with water. Then I thought, why aren't I using watercolour paper? So the next two prints I did with watercolour paper. Sometimes you just have to allow yourself to have a little experiment to try your ideas and keep developing them. So I did a couple more prints. This time I used uh, paint because I wanted to get a stronger impression. And I put the spray inks on first sprayed them around, added the water, created a fabulous background. And then when that was dry, I put the print on with the foam stamp and it's turned out rather beautiful. I'm rather loving it. So you can see the little speckles there where I've sprayed it with the gold mine. Looks fabulous. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to tear it, I'm thinking. And then we'll decide what we're going to put with the fabulous print. Not all of your ideas are going to work perfectly the first time you tried it. I was really playing around with these spray inks. I wanted to see how they would look, you know, um, adding the water to them on the paper. And it was really fun and I absolutely loved it. And I think that they turned out really well. So you do have to allow yourself to play, to experiment. And if something doesn't work out, that's okay. That's part of the creative process. Look at that, that's a beautiful shape. I'm loving that. Now I have to decide what we're going to put with it. And what else could I possibly find probably from my scrap bag? I'm loving this. Right, well, I've got some of my fabulous prints that I just did the other day. This is from the stencil from PM Artist Studio. It's my very first design for a stencil. Yes, I'm very excited <laughs> because it's a poem that I wrote quite a few years ago. It's very personal to me. It's very encouraging and I love using it. So I've got that color, which is going to work. I did these prints the other day when I was doing a different episode. That's going to work. I like that. That color's going to work. It's got the copper in it. So oh, man, we've got to decide. We've got to decide which one. That's going to work with the page next to it as well. So, you know, one of these is going to work. And I think we'll just take it to there. We'll put something else on the bottom half. Yes, that could be fun. And I might even trim that shape down a little bit more. Right, so I went with the copper. I just can't help myself. I love the bling. I just like the way it kind of blends in more rather than um, being too contrasting. I know, not like me at all. I'm usually liking contrasting, but this is more harmonious and it's making me feel happy, which is the plan, Stan. Now, 
I've pulled out some of the gold that's been floating around on my desk and that could work very nicely. That piece is even better. That could work down there. I've also got some of this beautiful um, bronze marble paper and that could also look amazing. I could maybe put a little strip across there. If I do that, I'll probably put that on top of that. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that could be just beautiful. So I'm going to stick that down. And then we're going to look at and see if there's anything else we need to do. But, you know, it's looking pretty good. And it's kind of sitting well with this side of the page. Yes, I think that's looking rather beautiful. that's stuck down well and I really don't think I need to add anything else I love the textured background I like the harmonious colors I like the way the um, vertical strata composition is working this is a beautiful pattern down here and I think it's just glorious just the way it is so I'll let it dry and I'll give you a close-up so what do you think about our first fabulous collages in our birds or feathers week this is going to be a great week. Thanks for joining me today. I really hope you were inspired and encouraged. I really hope you had a lot of fun because I know I did. <laughs> now don't forget, if you want more info or discount codes, you'll find it all in the description under the video. And if you missed any episodes, I have a playlist for the 100 Days of Collage. It's fabulous. All the videos are there. So go on and have a look. I know you're going to love it. I hope you join me again next time in the studio.